Oh man, we taking eating like a boss to a whole nother level. Look at this. I'm talking about controlling the food supply. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to be eating on some of this tomorrow, family. I just wanted to show y'all because I already cut mine, so I had to come and, and pull on one of the uh, other ones I cut. Some of the vegetables. So we're going to be eating now and I have to break the fast tomorrow. All right? like a boss family eating like a boss see that salad all those greens in there the egg for a minute the beet the cabbage we about to get busy then we're gonna have our conversation oh don't forget the smoothie Mr. Daddy. So, y'all see me trying to take this eating like a boss to another level. So, for those that don't understand, right, the uh, the salad that was in the middle of the plate came directly from my school, right? I mean, it's like we have a, a stand-up garden, and I got to go and I got to prune a lot of the vegetables that, um, I mean, was like uh, different types of lettuce, um, some greens, um, um, some herbs that I got to directly go and pick um, from the garden. And I got to really eat like a boss. Now the next level is finding somebody in my circle with eggs, you know, because I like eggs and um, with chickens so that I could go and actually have me some, make me some fermented eggs or make me an egg breakfast um, with eggs from somebody within our circle. All right, so before we get started, what I wanna share with you is, I had to feed my, um, my uh, uh, sourdough started last night and I wanted to let y'all know that this part of the experiment is progressing. Um, somebody um, inquired about the uh, 
experimental scoby and uh she is still alive she's still kicking i just haven't started brewing with her yet i'm letting her get strong and i'm thinking maybe within the next two brew cycles um i want to give her just a little bit more time because i've been feeding her um ambrosia she begin a little bit thicker and I eventually am going to have an experimental batch come from her. Alright, but I just want to let y'all know that we're still working on the sourdough. Um, this week, because I wanted to get it started early. Um, this week I am going to do another pizza because the pizza was oh my god. I mean, I'm going to take out some of the honey, but the pizza was oh ridiculous. I'm going to perfect the bread. But then I'm going to make um, uh, a peanut butter bar. Peanut butter. Um, peanut butter with the... I'm going to keep the... Uh, this time I'm going to put the oatmeal in a little bit earlier so the oatmeal can soak up a little bit more of the moisture as it, as it ferments. Um, the chia seeds going to stay in there, of course. The hemp seeds going to stay in there. Um, cranberry um, uh, raisin but I'm adding peanut butter and I'm gonna cut down well I don't know I'm, I don't know if I'll cut down on the honey but I'm gonna put the honey in there and we're gonna see what we could do we're gonna see what we could do all right so that's the next step for that all right so I'm gonna go on, let this sit out for the rest of the day and I'm gonna put it back in in her container and um, just actually I might start I might start I might make the the doughs tonight and let them ferment until Nia and put them in the oven on Nia um, and uh, do it like that maybe Kumba I don't know maybe let them sit for two days um, but we're still working on getting the process together so today we're talking about being committed being committed so I had to look up the word because a lot of times people confuse committed and crazy and and it's usually the ordinary person and what do I mean what do you mean by ordinary people brother Hatim I mean like per people that strive to live like everybody else right so I had to take some time to look up this word Commitment. Um, I sent it to myself this morning, but no. Dictionary.com is going to just send me dictionary.com. I hate, I hate that. I mean, um, so hold on. Autarchy. Autarchy. All right, I just I wanted to share this with you. The condition of a self sufficient, especially economics. Economic as applied to a nation, autarky. We need some of that in our community. All right, the word that we're looking up is commit because commitment is um, the root of commitment. All right, commit. I want to commit. 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 A verb used with object. Committed. Committing. To give in trust or charge. Consign. To consign for preservation. That's number two. To pledge oneself to a position on an issue or question. Express one's intention, feelings, etc. To blind or obligate as by pledge or assurance. Pledge. To entrust, especially for safekeeping, commend. To do, perform, perpetrate. To consign to custody. Alright. So now, let's go on and look at some of the... Uh, I want to look at the root. Word origin. Alright. Middle English, commit, committing, Anglo, Latin, commit, equivalent to come, mittery, to send, 
come with mystery to sin give over. I don't like this. How is it that you can have this big ass tablet not be as accurate as the phone? Oh my God. So, come mystery, mystery to sin, with to sin. Come means like with. All right, mystery is to give over. Right. So when you commit, you give yourself over. You know what I'm saying? You become one with. Right. When you commit to something. Right. You. And a lot of people. Don't understand that because they're not used to, to to giving themselves to something, right? They're not used to surrendering themselves to something. They don't understand. So when you try to explain what you're doing to them, they can't understand. They don't understand, uh, as I was showing you a book, The Vow Powered Life. They don't understand commitment, the vow. They don't understand what it means to vow to, 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 to do something, to, to pledge, to do something, to give yourself to something. They're, they're not used to it, right? They're not even used to giving themselves to themselves. They don't cut off on me again. I'm trying not to break this shit. It's getting to a point where I'm going to break this phone. I'm, the phone? You keep playing with me. So they don't understand the vow power of life. Right? So when you give yourself to something they don't understand the family they view you as crazy wow you're going to fast for 21 days crazy you know what I'm saying I, what, what, what are you that committed to you know what I'm saying because right nowadays you're not supposed to be that committed to anything but your job but your master you're not supposed to be committed to anything you know what I'm saying? If your job requires you to fast for 21 days, everybody would understand it because you're going to get paid for it. Right? But when you vow yourself to something that is beyond a, a material reward, a immediate award, when you vow and you give and you commit yourself to something that's bigger than you, people can't understand it. It scares people. Why? Because they are not capable of, 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 of doing it. So it's something wrong with it. Right? It's something not right about it. Now when you start giving that, I want y'all to think about this. When you start giving yourself to a people that everybody already done counted out, they really think you crazy. Right? You know what I'm saying? I'm giving myself to, to black folks right here in America, right? Y'all you, already lost. This is all, you know, we, you, you might as well go on to surrender. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else has surrendered. You might as well just give up, Brother Hot Tim. You're stupid. Why you keep pushing? You know what I'm saying? Why, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you fast and people don't care. You know what I'm saying? But it's some of y'all that do. Right, and even if some of y'all didn't, I did it to make myself better. Right, so I'm looking at stories of uh, natural, like stories in here, natural born heroes, and you start looking at the stories of heroes, and they were, in a sense, the misfits in society. They were the 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 fatherless children in society. They were the the forgotten people in society. Right. Um, they come from a place of nothing and, and push and bring back gifts to the people. Sometimes they will be lifted up. Other times they will be forgotten. But these are individuals who are able to commit themselves. Even if it meant their life. Even if it meant their death. They were able to commit themselves. So you look at, at, at stories from like this natural born heroes. Or you look at hero with a thousand faces. And you look at the point of these heroes will go into worlds where they knew that the possibilities of them even being able to come back from it was totally impossible. 
but they still committed themselves. Right? Commitment or crazy. See, family, you got to stop being concerned about how other people see you, especially those people who really, really don't want to understand. They don't want to understand. They've been programmed to hold you back. It's, it's sort of like in the Matrix where, where they tell Neo, they say, Neo, don't go into crowded places because the agents could pop up on anybody in the Matrix. They could jump right into anybody in the Matrix. Right? And that's just how it is with you. Because it's like, you know, black folks, a lot of times, we used to talk about agents in the community. Right? Well, you don't really have to have agents in the community no more. You don't need to hire nobody. No more. People have been programmed so that at any given time, Agent Smith could pop up right next to you. Motherfucker, you thought was you was cool with all of a sudden they... And they morph into Agent Smith. Right? So then I look at the stories from Plutarch's um, um, Parallel Lives, right? And I'm, I'm going through this and I'm seeing individuals who had to be, in a sense, people looked at them as if they were crazy, right? Not really realizing commitment. I'm living, I'm, I'm living my vow that I made to myself. I'm living my vow. A lot of people don't understand that, family. And they can't understand it. Right? Because honor, loyalty, and sacrifice are not primary in this culture anymore. Especially when it's loyalty, honor, and sacrifice to you and your people. It's not understood. And last but not least, I want y'all to think about this. Right? We got a black woman with a sleeping problem who felt that she was supposed to be free. There was a different way of life when all around her there was no evidence that there was a different part of life. You know, there were stories. You know what I'm saying? But there was also stories about boogeymen and, and, and things hiding up under the bed and, and sea monsters and shit. But this woman was she committed or was she crazy? 19 trips. 19. 19 trips. And then on top of that, when the Civil War happened, she was a master spy. Committed or crazy? Family, you got to make a decision, right? And a lot of times when you make that decision, most people in your life are not even going to understand. And they are going to line up against you, it seems like, sometimes. They're going to challenge you. They're going to argue with you. They're going to talk about you. They're going to doubt you. But the question is, do you have the heart to be committed to you like for example I mean like the 21 day challenge like people like people say brother I tell I try and that's all I'm asking you know what I'm saying because all it starts it starts with a try but then eventually after you try so many times eventually you're gonna be like I'll do this shit and get committed and you're gonna understand that it goes beyond just changing the names of the days right I need to get over a tobacco habit. I use the 21 day challenge to help me with that. I use the 21 day challenge to help me get through a, 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 a fast. I'm, I'm, I'm using the 21 day challenge to help me get through books. I'm using the 21 day challenge. I'm going to help. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the 21 day challenge to help some of the young people that, that I'm going to be working with during the school year. You know what I'm saying? Why not give them a 21 day period to master one skill? Why not give yourself a 21 day challenge to master one skill? Commit yourself to 21 days of trying to change one thing in your life. Trying to change one habit in your life. Commit to you. And what happens is when you commit to you, you start finding out that by you truly committing 
to, to you, to making you better, you make everybody else around you better. Either they're going to start getting better or they're going to get from around you. They're going to leave you alone. They're going to move away because you're too spooky. Family, I'm telling you, this is this is some real stuff. We, we building here, right? We're not playing. Ain't no games being played here. As a matter of fact, I'm about to get off here right now. And I'm about to go on and, and, and mix up this dough. All right? So, I'm about to... <laughs> We about to bread it up, y'all. We about to bread it up, all right? So this is Brother I Tim, and I am out. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you right there. And for those that want more information about Jeremy Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.